Hi, welcome to brand new video of the target individual program, the target individual experience. Uh, it's been a while since I um, <coughs> uploaded a video. I think the last video I uploaded was on the 8th and a lot has been happening, you know, targeting, uh, of course, it's still happening. So even though I haven't done a video for about two weeks or three weeks, it doesn't mean that my targeting has stopped. Please notice that it's, as a TI, you will continue to be targeted for the rest of your life. Once you are put into this program, it is for the rest of your life, particularly if you fight back, uh, they're going to target you even harder. They're going to do things um, more criminal, you know, in terms of food poisoning, um, you know, with the remote neural monitor and this constant everyday uh, harassment from the police, uh, all that sort of stuff. And I'm going to show you these uh, things again in this video. Okay. So, like I said, the last video I did was on the 8th, and, um, you know, so, uh, that afternoon on my way home, um, it was actually at night on my way home, and, uh, I took the bus home, you know, so I had my headphones on, so I wasn't really, you know, um, trying to record anything, I was just wanted to be relaxed on my way home so got uh on my block and i'm walking towards my apartment building and um i think i was on the phone with another ti and um you know i noticed this vehicle and i was tell the other ti i said oh here's a brand new video i mean sorry a brand new vehicle uh and, uh, and again not brand new as in just made but a vehicle that has never been parking on my block I've never seen on my block shows up and again has the number 32 in the license plate so I couldn't do a video while I was on the phone so I just snapped a picture and uh, as you can see here again the number okay the number 32 right smack in the middle of the uh, numbers right so you have what is this uh four three two two all right so there you go right so this was the night of the 8th of august 2018 so the next morning okay again i am on my way to catch the bus um this was uh, early morning um, because I had to leave the house early to come back by Pam because of the kids. I uh, had to go um, watch the kids while she go to work. And because I didn't have the car, because the car has been in the shop for the past two weeks because of issues uh, that we were having with the engine, you know, uh, uh, leaking of the um, antifreeze and you know a couple other tubes had to be replaced so I had to order these things right so the next morning um, let's go to the video so the next morning left the house okay so this is on the ninth your vehicle and as I'm walking I noticed this vehicle Okay, again, n never seen this video parked on my block. I mean, this vehicle parked on my block before. And so here it is, HUV 3203. Now, know this, if you're a TI and they have um, conditioned you to a certain number, again, this is Doc NLP, Doc Neuro Linguistic Programming, Whatever number you see constantly over and over again, that is a trigger. Okay, so these, this number is meant to trigger me in a certain way. All right, so 
number H U W thirty two or three. Okay, it's U W. Okay, so at this point, I'm thinking, okay, that was it, right? So I stopped recording. But as I continue walking, and I saw you guys know. another v car. We'll talk about it being coincidence. It's not a coincidence. Here's another vehicle that's new. Again, we're parked in the block. Why? Now, again, this is right after I recorded the Dodge van with the number 32 in it, and I look and I saw as I was walking so another vehicle again never seen parked on my block before it's double park and a you'll JPY see 8324 the number JPY 8324 okay, number 32 in the middle of it again see right, right there okay so who can answer the question Right? Why is it that that number is so vast and many and has been parking on my block? Cars with that number been parking on my block. Answer that question. Okay. And again, you know, it's, it's th that vehicle has been more prevalent in terms of uh, that number. I've been more prevalent in terms of vehicles parking on my block with that number on it right so anyway um took the bus all right now i saw the you know when the bus i went to the bus stop and the bus came the bus had the number 32 in the license plate also so but i was getting on the bus and i was still on the phone so i couldn't uh i was on the phone so i couldn't do any recording but when i got off the phone and i exited the bus okay i had to uh walk to the back of the bus so as you guys can see right let's go back here as you guys can see now so the two vehicles that was parked on my block one was parked in the on, by the sidewalk the other one was double park with the number 32 in it went to the bus stop the bus that i got on had the number 32 in the license plate again not coincidence so i got off of this bus and I had to catch another bus. Okay, so this is me walking across the street to catch uh, the other bus. And you see this perp across the street here, standing with his hands in his back pocket, with the palm of his hands facing towards me, uh, with his thumb sticking out, and he was literally like wiggling his thumb as he was walking okay so now he's acting as if he's you know i guess going to the store but he's standing there okay and of course he's not going into the store he is walking towards here All right now this is his things right here so he's a street vendor he's selling his stuff on the street yet he takes the time to walk over here and let's go back to where we first see him okay so okay let's go back to where we first see him as I'm walking across the street as I got off the bus okay because he was basically standing there. Alright, so there he goes. That's him. See that? He put his hands in his back pocket, palm facing out towards me, thumb sticking out. Heavy, heavy, uh, here. And then he walks over here. Okay, okay now, he has. Like I said, he's a street vendor. He's selling stuff on the street. But he's not even paying attention to the things that he's selling. And anybody could walk by, take any of his product that he's selling, and walk away with it. But he's not concerned. Okay? And no one's going to do that because this whole incident here is all a skit. That's uh, 
a skit, right? It's a script. It's called Street Theater. Okay, so let's move on. So there he goes, he walks back over. Okay, and I kept recording. The reason why I kept recording because once I started to recognize the pattern of the vehicles with the number 32 in it, I knew that this is gonna be a continuing thing. So here's another perp, and as I walk past, you'll see he raises his hands. This is a hand signal behind the head, act as if he, you know, he's scratching his head, but it's just, usually they'll, they'll scratch their head like that, or they'll just brush their hair back, okay? whenever they see me, because again, that's a hand signal. And again, it's neuro linguistic programming is a trigger to a thought or a negative thought or a negative emotional feeling. Um, you know, that's what they do. Because when you've been conditioned to these things, all they have to do is do hand signals, say certain words, and it all acts as a trigger. and you get close to people you'll see them always tugging on their clothes always touching their clothes and touching themselves This is the morning of the night. Okay. Okay, so that was the bus. Okay, got on the bus, got off, walking towards Pamela's block. And you see the perp standing there, and he sees me, he starts walking. Again, they use people of all age group, all ethnicity, uh, all kind of occupation to target you, right? If you're a TI, okay? That's me singing because you know I have my my headphones on. This is the Sony headphone that I had showed you guys that I ordered. You know that I had to much issue getting because you know for one they sent me the wrong color. Then when I had to send it back, they short me on my refund. I had to call Amazon to get my full refund back. And you know during that time I had ordered another headphone which I thought was the same, but it was the um, it looks the same, but it was a different. Um, version so I ended up giving that one to my son Ethan I had to end up ordering another one which is the ones that I wanted but it wasn't in the color that I wanted I got in another color okay so I'm walking on again Pam's block and look at how this vehicle is parked right so it's parked facing out as you can see it's not facing straight and there's like a big gap here okay and uh, this gap is too small for a vehicle to park into, but it's big enough. And if this person had just moved back a little bit, another vehicle could park in there. But, you know, again, this is all orchestrated because, you know, it's to grab my attention. All right. So, and again, an, another car that has never parked on her block also, you'll see here. And again, with the number uh, 32 in the license plate, right? Four, three, two, one. Okay, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right. So, Nissan, Toyota, Corolla. Okay. All right. So let's let's go. Let's, let's get past that. Okay. All right. So, like I said, 
So now, um, let's go. All right, another plate from Delaware. I looked at the number and it says. No, this is the next day. This is the 10th. All right, so left the house again. Um, I was on my way uh, to do laundry, uh, getting close on the laundry. And of course, another vehicle, okay? The number 32 again in the license plate parked up that? on my block, okay? All right, so let's go to the next one. So, look at the Asian when she turns around. I took my daughter, we went to the store. She turns around walking. And on my way, on our way back, there was an Asian lady walking her dog and she stood up right here, okay? And she kept doing hand signals. So I took my phone out, started to record. She turns around and she starts using you know, all the Asian right? people. Lately. And um, she's standing over here in front of right here looking and uh, the minute she saw me um, start recording she turns around and she walks away. See? These are the coward moves that they do, okay? They wanna be part of this targeting it uh, people. And you can hear right like the fire trucks. They're they're so big and bad and they're so right in what they're doing. But when I take the phone out to record them, they turn around and they walk away, right? Because they don't want their face plastered all over the internet, right? And you can hear the and again, sirens. that's the fire trucks you hear. That's the uh, fire truck behind me. It's all orchestrated, all planned. Yeah, look at her. Walking her dog. my daughter <laughs> you see this is what they do now at this point I gotta stop the video and say yet yeah, she's wearing red and I know red is the color they used to target us so she is not uh, it's not to trigger any TIs uh, with use of this color but she just so happens to wear red that day okay um, so remember again this is not to trigger or target you I have to say this so in case you're looking at this video and you're being triggered by it please understand that this is not meant to trigger you in a way that you know if uh, a perps your perps will wear it to trigger you okay yeah. so she still sees me coming and she turns around and again uh, you see this guy walking here all right so this is what they'll do they'll use people again that have numbers number three number uh, four number two number one and as you walk past you'll see he do, swings his arm yes and there she goes walking across the street fucking cowards It feels so big and bad because the authorities and those in those in position of authorities giving them permission to do this shit with no repercussion of what it is that they're doing. So they yep. think it's okay. But the one way you need to expose them is by putting them on video and plastering their face all over the internet. To let people know exactly what it is that they're doing. Go over there squeezing, pinching on those. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, let's, let's go to the next video. Alright, so that was the fr um, Friday because the kids, actually that was Friday, yeah. So because the kids were out of summer school, summer school was over, and the next day, uh, Saturday, um, we had to call the tow truck to pick up the car. Uh, yeah, so we had to call the tow truck to pick up the car, and then um, my brother called me and he was like, "Okay, this was Saturday afternoon. 
and he was like okay the car is finished okay and this was probably about uh, oh what date was this let me see this is um, this was 18. Okay, so this was the 18th. Uh, actually, this video here is the the 13th this one that I'm, I have on the screen right now this is the 13th and this video I'm about to show which is the 18th which is a Saturday so my brother had called me and he was like hey come you know I'm gonna come pick you up and I had to go to the bank to get money so I can pay for the repairs that was done so we end up going to this bank over here and got parking on this black this block and so as we're walking, you know, down this block, and of course, you know, he want to go to this bank because, you know, he's being mind control manipulated. And as we're walking down here, the, um, okay, I uh, so see the guy in the red, again, using the red theme, he's the perp, and the police car. Now, this happens to me a lot of the times to where you see a police car parked up and they'll have their door open or they'll park up on the side uh, of a double park with the doors open with no officers in the vehicle and you can see I'm going to the bank okay so please note I'm walking and you're hearing change in my pocket that's what I use whenever I walk past the perp I will shake it violently because that's what they do to me so again when you're hearing this this is not meant to trigger you so please be aware of it and if you are triggered i sincerely apologize that you're being triggered by this um but it's the only actually you know what let me um turn off the volume of this video okay so here we go all right so you'll see the police vehicle cars open remember this is all street theater my brother's being psychologically manipulated and you see they'll start using the color purple okay which is one of the color they target me so they target me with so this woman walks out of the store you know wearing purple on okay so this is the bank that we were going into all right so now this is uh, Saturday, the um, the 18th, right? Saturday, 18th. Now this is Sunday, the 19th, and what happened is that Saturday, um, after picking up the car, um, you know, after you know with the talk and stuff like that, Sunday. I got the kids ready, uh, went to Pam because she wanted to, um, no, I, actually, I'm sorry, let's go back. So Saturday, Saturday afternoon, we ended up going to, I was invited to a party for, uh, you know, one of my cousins, you know, not, you know, blood cousins, but we grew up together and we played music together, so we called each other cousins, but his sister was having a party in Queens. So we went, um, of, you know, Pam, the kids and I, we went and came back, dropped Kit, Pam back at our house. Uh, um, I ended up um, staying there and she had to go visit her cousin on Sunday, which is the 19th. So she had just came back from visiting her cousin. She got parking for me for the right side on Monday and she was going to take a cab. So we, she called the cab as we were waiting outside, and then this dude shows up here, this, this kid here, you know, shows up as we were waiting. All of a sudden, now we were just waiting there, and then he shows up, he starts standing there. 
then you'll see these two come out and as she comes out again this is Pam and you know when we when we when when I came outside this woman's sitting here she lives in my building but all of a sudden she comes and she sat down there right because she's a perp again they recruited her so she comes and she sits down there to do hand signals whatever the, the young guy in the white he comes stands over here all of us all of that to watch us and, and again so look what happened when these two young ladies come outside okay as they uh, watch Pam okay and then he leaves right now you got to see what she does with the phone so remember how I tell you that um, the person would see me and they'll take out their phone look at it so she you know they triggered her mind control And then she comes up now, she turns around, has her phone in her hand, you know, puts it down, then turns around, you know. This is all mind control, right? It's all mind control. We're being microwave at this point. So this is something that I want you guys to understand and realize. Okay, so, again, that same night, because I had stopped the video, and we're still waiting for the cab, all of a sudden this vehicle shows up uh, let me put the volume on because you need to uh, so let's go back so you see this Honda Accord right here it shows up and I notice again the license plate number <laughs> right yes HRC3297 HRC 3297, the license plate number of this vehicle. Now, all right. Okay, so again, all right. So I'm like, okay, wh whatever. So now, this was the 19th. This next video here is the 21st, all right? The 21st, as you can see. You, know, you can't see it on the, on the video, but I can see it on, uh, on the screen. Okay, so this was um, the Tuesday, and I had to go uh, get um, the Monday, actually, which is the 20th, I went to get a, a MRI on for my brain, and I had an x-ray for my right index finger, and then the Tuesday, I had to go get an MRI on my right hand, because what's happening lately is that my fingers, uh, not lately, but it's been happening for some months now, but my fingers, whenever I move them, they hurt. And particularly my index finger, my right pointing index finger, hurts all the time. I can't press anything hard with it. And also, um, it's like the cartilage in my fingers, in, in between the bones, have deteriorated because my hands Whenever I move them, whenever I squeeze them tight, whenever I press something, they hurt. So, you know, I had to go get uh, MRI done, x-ray done, stuff like that. So the truth, they had to go get an MRI done on my right hand. Okay. And so we're on our way. We got in the car, got onto the parkway. Thanks for watching this painting car. Take care. I just got Ladies onto the parkway. Okay. Me turn that down I want my video to be flagged for copyright and so um, you'll see the the first vehicle that I pull up behind okay which is this ambulance uh, ambulette that see the number 32 okay number 32 in the license plate right first vehicle when i turn onto the parkway i pulled up behind okay so let's let's go let's 
did I pass the uh, yes I did okay um, all right so <laughs> all right I missed the spot so I got to go back so when the light changed of course you know while um, also as I was recording you know the fire trucks you see the fire trucks here okay never fails see the fire trucks there's one there's two okay and again first we got pull up behind number 32 within the license plate of this ambulance I think I showed it already right so you guys let's see So, still on the parkway, I'm heading to the uh, facility that I have to do my uh, MRI for my hands. So now, again, I'm still on the parkway, and the second vehicle, which is this gray uh, Nissan Altima, You'll see I'm driving behind here as we're going further uh, on the parkway. Okay, that number. CTS 3207 all right okay so we've done establish this okay another vehicle with the number 32 okay so let's go we're going around the roundabout heading to Prospect Park West change uh, look what he does look what he does you see that look what he does you see because he you see how you see how he blocked me from passing because again he was waiting for that vehicle with that number 32 in the license plate. Again, watch what he does, right? So, as I was getting ready to pass him, look, he had his indicator going right and he turns to the left to block me so I can't get over here. There we go. That way I have to get behind this vehicle here. Okay. T7. All right, so this vehicle, and look, the number 32, okay? T7. So we see this is how they they orchestrate things when you're driving as a TI when they want you to go certain directions. You know, a lot of times, sometimes when I come back from dropping Bryce off and I'm saying to myself, you know what, I'm gonna go home. Usually, for me to go home, I would get into these two lanes, but if I get in this lane, right, they will um, basically. Uh, prevent me from going left and then I will go right to head towards Pam and at that point you know it's like I'm saying to myself I'm gonna go home but then they block me at the moment where I have to go left so I end up going right and I'm like you know what I'll just go by Pam this is what they do with their vehicle so you'll see he'll have his right indicator on all right but he's going to go left okay and he just turned it on 
but he's going to go left to prevent me right from getting into this lane so that the vehicle with the number 32 and the license the taxi again you'll see um, they'll start using taxi cabs at this point with the number 32 in it to target me okay so look right indicator he goes left to block me off as soon as the car vehicle comes with the number 32 this taxi cab which is a, a van you know all of a sudden he goes and now and i've and i noticed this seven right that's why i just call out the number there you go number 32 and seven or five or three two six on the taxi. right side of that vehicle At this point, I had to make a phone call. It was just, you know, about a minute or two. And then, um, so I couldn't record. So here, we've picked back up. I'm still at Prospect Park West. Okay, still at Prospect Park West. Because I'm heading to Ocean Parkway, right? So you'll see again they'll use another vehicle which I'll show you guys uh, where we at? Yeah. okay Okay, so I, I'm, I'm minor. Let's see if I miss the uh, the other vehicle. Okay, um, I have to go back there. Um, let's see. There was another vehicle. All right, so I might have missed that vehicle. So I might have missed that other vehicle. But there's another vehicle with the number 32 in it. Um, okay. All right. So, alright. So, here I am. Um, let's go here. Alright. So, here I am getting ready to head to Ocean parkway right which is the route that I needed to go uh, to get to the facility to get my MRI MRI done on my right hand so as you see I am now I'm uh, on the ramp right entering onto the parkway okay and as I cross over he's gonna cut me off from getting into this lane so I can get behind this vehicle and guess what T760932 C so again getting another parkway right. and the first vehicle that I pull up behind I have the number 32 Get it nice and play, and this is another taxi, right? Okay, so let's go. All right, let's go.
now there's certain parts where you're gonna hear police sirens I'm gonna try to um, get to those parts so you guys can hear I'm not because I'm skipping it okay here I think this was an ambulance I think it was behind me. Alright, so uh, here we go. So, you'll see right here. We is red on his part is <laughs> our turn to go and he's just gonna plow through that red light of his okay so usually when that's not happening I see a lot of police vehicles okay yeah, I'm receiving some sort of subliminal threat okay from the police all right and so here we go we're, we're about to reach our destination there's the other police car there's another police car that drove and they, yes, there was a police car that was behind me I was talking about and um, as you heard the whoop with the sirens again it's to get my attention you know Parker, and I want you to notice this. There's a white vehicle here, right? Okay. Oh, let's see this. This lady across the street, pay attention to her. She's going to see how she has her hands over her mouth as she's walking towards me. Again, telling me to be quiet. No, don't talk. Oh, what is she doing? She, she, then she looks at her watch, right? All right, let's uh, wake up. It looks like she's drinking something heavy, but you know, she then look at her watch, uh, and again, you can hear the police sirens. Yes, I wake up right here. Ethan, uh, right here. Actually, so it was an ambulance. Um, all right, so so that wasn't the police siren. That was an ambulance. So you know, this happened a, about a week ago. So my memory is not fresh. Uh, okay, so now went into the facility, got the MRI done, oh. and yes, walking back the corner to here, the car, right? And so now, remember that toy, pay attention to that white vehicle? So now there's a black taxi, okay? You see the taxi and limousine commission plate? And again, what? The number 32 in the yeah, license the plate. Box, the infinity. Okay, another taxi, T717632C. All right, and that's my kids. Okay, so. Uh, Got out, you know, put the kids in the car and walking towards the uh, driver's door. And I 
which you can see here okay number 40 32 now I just finished doing that recording of that infinity the, the taxi cab but the number 32 the license plate put the kids in the car walk to the back of the car going towards the driver's door saw this vehicle this Hyundai right the number 32 so I just gotta I had to do it really quick again uh, record check it out GLU 4032 okay all right now you know this is not coincidence ladies and gentlemen now I want you to pay attention now this is on our way back um, as we're leaving now I'm going to skip a couple of videos here that I've done uh, because all the way back up on the parkway all the way back up on the parkway I did not see any vehicle with the number 32 within the license plate, right? Until I got to um, closer to my block, okay? So here I am, just exit off of the the parkway and taking the local route back to my block, okay? Let's go here. Um, all right. So, this is where it began again. Okay. Okay. Actually, let's go back here. All right. So, I, I wanted to show this and I missed it all right so I gotta go back so as I'm approaching behind this van you see the police vehicle all right you can see you'll see the police vehicle just drove by right and made a turn onto the same street that I'm driving down all right I'm driving on okay now there goes this girl doing a hand signal Take her up then. Yeah. And uh, uh, pull over right there. What's that car says? Can't let go. Is the license plate of that car? Yeah. GWK3200. Okay, so this okay. is the, the, Chevy the police the vehicle here, right? Where I'm circling here, right? That Chevy Lumna or uh, Chevy, and uh, uh, well, what is it? Uh, um uh shoot what anyway I forgot the it's not a is a Chevy Loom I'm not sure what they call that they they <laughs> they always drive. Okay, you always see when you see the Chevy you know uh, you know it's a police vehicle, right? The majority of the time, okay? And so must be some other cops. Just tell you. And they study no, but this is all, and they know all they orchestrated know, because like, you know usually when I'm coming home route. after taking uh, uh, Ocean Park or have you, I take this Ocean Parkway heading street home. all the way um, to where I have to make you the to take certain routes, which they left do. turn. Okay, so yeah, so those and are so like plain clothes police officers. Okay, look at that, right? GWK. 30. 
Look at that. GWK3200. The number 32 again. Police vehicle. Okay. Mind okay, control. So now, here's the police vehicle that had turned. All right. Four, ladies and gentlemen. So, they could have pulled over and they could have went across the street to talk to whoever, but, you know, it's all orchestrated. It's all played out uh, as part of the skit. Mind control. I saw this car on the street theater. No. Okay. What? So did not realize that they had pulled uh, out plane. behind me. A plane that I was a sprinkler. Oh, oh. A tiny. I was walked down. Okay, let's go back here for a minute. Okay, 30. Uh, uh, where we at? Where we at? Here. Let's go back. Okay. A plane, bro. No, so when I was driving, uh, let's see here, I want to be sure what I'm seeing. Okay, so, you see, when I was driving, I did not notice this bus at the time. Um, that was recording the video that the bus again here had the number 32 in it okay again these things are strategically placed um, because you know if they know I'm heading that route they will park vehicles uh, along that path okay Ethan <laughs> playing uh, a game on his tablet. All right, so across the street here, a guy in the red. And again, here goes the red theme. The vehicle, the his vehicle the license plate. The, he, the vehicle he's he had his hood okay. up. So the car with the hazard light on. What do you think the license plate says? CGX 3236. Now another thing, right? He has his hazard light on. Now he's not parked by a hydrant. He's perfectly fine, you know, parking there. So there's no need for him to have his hazard lights on. Okay, he's parked up. Bows her head as she walks. Yeah. And again, let's check out the license plate number. All right? See the number 32? 3236? GX3236. Now, here's the police car. As soon as I pass by that vehicle, they turn on the sirens, right? So, remember when I was in the parkway driving towards the facility to get my MRI, the police car behind me, you heard the whoop. You heard that, right? And that's the only sound that they'll make, okay? And again, you early on in my targeting, uh, throughout the night, I will constantly hear that whoop or whoop whoop immediately after I get up to go use the bathroom. When I'm using the bathroom to pee, same thing, whoop, 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 right? So it either be whoop or it'll be whoop, whoop, right? Just tell me to let me know that they're surveilling me, that they're watching me in the home. Same thing, uh, of me and Pam, whenever we're intimate, right? It's the whoop, whoop, whoop. 
to tell me again that they're watching me while you know totally invading my privacy our privacy while we're intimate okay so what is he doing what is, he, is he pulling me over or something oh he just want to pass huh <sighs> yep there you go just want to get in front of me and pass he's making a whole bunch of noise he the minute that i drove in front of them they pull off behind me and i didn't even notice them in the back wait the just, just, just let's look at this guy uh standing there again i didn't what did you i do? didn't notice he, him is he pulling me over or something? but i'm he's probably gonna be well i think he's staring at his phone pass, huh? but this is what they do right so <sighs> the police making all this noise yep, there you go and just want to get in see, front of me and pass he's making a whole bunch of noise he the minute that I Dude. drove in front of them, they pulled Let's go. off behind me. Standing there, just staring at his phone. Again, so orchestrated back there. BS. But yep. Okay. Alright, so now I'm heading home. And... Okay, now I wanted to show this part right here. So you see these people walking across the street, and her, if she's walking across the street, the young lady here in the front, you know, Hispanic, uh, uh, two Hispanic women with, they, with these two kids and she is basically folding her her lip inwards you know get another sign for telling me to be quiet while staring at her phone as she crosses the street okay <laughs> That's, uh, she's so funny. I okay, now what surprised me was open that. Uh, open. Not open. That when I got parking and I chose to park over no. here that I didn't park behind a vehicle with the number 32 in the license plate, right? So maybe, um, uh, not maybe, but they know that um, I've been recording. So again, you know, in order to space out the targeting, you know, they wouldn't end it off with me parking behind uh, a vehicle with the number two, 32 in the license plate. And this vehicle might have had it, in there. I, I'm not too sure, but if I had parked behind this vehicle, maybe it would have had the number 32 in the license plate, but I wasn't looking. So I don't know. Right now, I'm just speculating on that part. So again, here's the hand signal as she walks by, the hands behind the head. Okay, let's see. Let's go back again. She walked by, there you go, the hand behind the head. Okay. okay. So this is uh, the type of stuff that they do, right? So now coming back now, these the guy in the red shirt again. Um, now, I had they waited after until parking, he came back. On. I took the kids to the store to get them candy. Okay, and when I had parked, these people were uh, in this vehicle. They had parked, and they basically it took us about five minutes to get to the store and come back. And they were still waiting in their vehicle. And when they saw us walking back, they got out of their vehicle the the and the started um, now, walking they until towards their came back on apartment the store. building, right? <laughs> okay. And of course, you know, the guy uh, wearing the red, he's in the red On their way to the store, they were standing out there. They were standing and they there, waited yeah. so they were standing out there. So they had the guy parking and they were standing out there and they from waited. From the store to decide that they're going to now walk off. See them? Right. I tell you, they're pretty, you know, 
pretty pathetic and pretty obvious in the things that they do. Very, okay. very pathetic and very again, obvious. Again, this is the 21st. And again, so here I am I, um, going to do laundry. laundry. Remember, this is the 21st, the same day, right? As you see me going to get my um, MRI for my right hand, stuff like that. So after got parking, took the kids inside, went to do laundry. I had uh, put the clothes in the wash, came back, put them in the dryer, and I was came back again to fold the clothes. You know, here I am heading into the laundry to fold the clothes. And of course they parked the vehicle here. And uh, of course, you know, we have a vehicle right there, right? Okay, now you see when I pass the laundry, right? You start to hear sirens, okay? Hear the cops. See them? And what's this car license plate here? Right? HYY 9326. And you see, there they go. So they know I was going to record this, so that's why they're they, they doing all of this to show, right? Show of force. This is what they're doing. They're not smart. That's right. Because once you figure out what it is that's being done to you, uh, this is what happened. So now, uh, got to the um, inside the laundry, and of course, you know, they have to make a big scene um, because I guess they probably don't want me to go back to the laundry again. And you know, you'll see here, see, as I turn around to go into the laundry, see this young woman right here walking. Okay, you see how her lips are folded again, right? Again, remember I tell you about the police sending, uh, using direct threats, indirect threats, and they'll do it in a third-party way. So they're making all this noise, and then they turn back around, and this woman here, folding her lips, asks to be quiet. And you can hear the police sirens in the background as I'm recording this. Again, this is stuff that they do. So, again... Got in there. This woman uh, went to get changed what, from what the parking attendant. What do you mean the machine not working for this woman? Get out of here! And he starts screaming at this woman, and I had to basically go and defend this woman. And this is what you know was taking place. But I'm not going to show. What do you mean the, the machine is not working for this woman? Out. So he's yelling at her, and he's telling her the machine is not working for her. Okay. This is all in the same day now. So they started, you know, a whole bunch of nonsense, a whole bunch of shit. So I end up giving him money from my wallet to give me change. Then he starts telling me that the machines don't work for me either. So that was the last time that I would ever go to this um, laundry. I'm going to find another laundry to go to because these people, again, uh, some of them are very disrespectful to us and being that as black people because he was talking to a black lady he was screaming and basically trying to uh, degrade this woman okay and so this is what happened so I had to take pictures of the um, the building uh, not the building but the business number and stuff like that and this is the number which I will I said I was going to file a complaint, and I need to file a complaint. And, you know, when a lot of stuff was happening, I just forgot. But, you know, this is their um, their license for their business. Okay? All right. So, uh, again, the 21st. Oh, God. I'm telling you. You know, once you start, once they start with the um, police. This was after I went to the laundry, got my clothes, took it to the house, and then I had to go out to get some, a couple things, because I was, me and my daughter was gonna make, um, you know, Caribbean dish, breakfast we usually have, uh, bacon and fish cake. So, again, this is the same day now, the 21st, right? So I'm walking to the parkway again, to go across the parkway to go to the Korean uh, food market, and, and your you TI, know. they're gonna be staging shit. As you know, I'm going to the uh, Korean market to uh, get some stuff to make uh, fish cake with my daughter. 
So this is all happening on the twenty first. Now that I approach, okay. now they're leaving. Okay. All right. Funny how shit work out. All right. Once in the morning, I get targeted by these criminals. No, hold up. Police and 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 police This is this is this is and police and orchestrated and they don't care so now they're leaving all the cops are leaving and they don't care let's go all the cops are leaving and they don't care who they hurt all right they don't care who they hurt also they can plan themselves to where they can harass me all right individuals all okay go again another vehicle just started parking on my block it okay so this was the again the um the dodge caravan that i had uh recorded uh the the weekend i believe it was the friday or the saturday it might, it's the saturday i think it's the saturday i had to go pick up the car so that's what uh happened there uh, maybe it was uh, anyway. I can't remember, but anyway, it's a, it's, a, it's the same van again. Okay, all right. So um, let's see what do we have here. Twenty second. Uh, a lot of these videos I have, I have not really fully reviewed them as of yet, but. Okay, so, so this is the 22nd, right? So it's the next day, and we are headed down by Pam. Again, vehicle number 32, HYB 32.99, right? I was taking a kiss by Pam because um, Genesis. she's taking him on vacation. Oh, okay, let me do this. Uh, okay, as I turn here. We just passed that vehicle to number 32 in there, right? So you'll see another vehicle that was double parked. Happened so quick that I, I I keep missing it. Okay, here. I think this is it, right? H H V W. Okay, so it wasn't double box. It was right here. This car turned in here. Ninety-eight, I think. This is it. to read the license plate because you know, it was turning and they wouldn't be able to get, get it on, on video, right?
gonna be a lot of stuff that I've missed here in this video because I'm just trying to keep this video short. All right. Hmm? I know, but I gotta raise it. He he has to move. I can't. Uh... Okay, uh, all right, now, again, found parking, pulling into the parking space, and guess what? There's a number again. HFV, HF, HFY 632, okay? Again, never, never fails. Right. Okay. So, the uh, this is the 24th, right? So we're talking about two days later um, on the day that Pam was taking the kids uh, on vacation. I got up early because I had to move the car and I went to the gas station to get the car wash and to put gas in the car so she wouldn't have to stop for gas on the way uh, to her destination with the kids all right so uh, as soon as the car came out of the wash the police vehicle uh, was driving and you hear the fire trucks he pulls over right across the street from the gas station because of course again it's all orchestrated it's all planned this is street theater this is noise campaign okay <laughs> The interesting thing is that when the fire trucks pass, uh, one of the the car wash worker said to me, he was like, thank you. You know, and I was just like, you know, why is he thanking me for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's what he said to me. So I don't know. Maybe because I'm helping to expose what's being done. You want to thank me for that? Well, I sure hope that's the case because then you're welcome because we have to expose this to let people know exactly what's going on and what is being done. Okay. Uh, so that was my targeting and, you know, I just want to show what's going on, what's being done, how they use cursive persuasion, how they use, uh, You know, psychological harassment, psychological warfare, or manipulation in what is called uh, in covert type investigations or what have you, or if there is an investigation, but to give the appearance of investigation to get the TI in a state of paranoia to constantly uh, abuse the TI by using members in the community by using what is called um, uh, uh, f uh, legal abuse, legal tort, or not really legal, but they try to, they do things to use law enforcement to harass, manipulate, target someone in a legal manner, but it's still abuse, and the way they do it, they try to make it look as if it's a legal thing that's being done, but it's really not, okay? But they're using the law and using law enforcement to uh, psychologically torture, harass, um, manipulate, uh, break in, theft, uh, poisoning of food, uh, you know, getting community members to do a lot of these things and to give them the uh, impression that nothing will be done to them because it is people in law enforcement that are uh, basically saying it's okay to do this stuff to certain individuals, okay? Um, but again, this is all to cover up, uh, you know, non-consensual human experimentation using direct energy weapons and using microchipping for the purpose of remote neuromonitoring, okay? 
um, you know that I mean that's that that's it. You know that's that's why they do all the stuff and they think that they can get away with it because they're doing these things, right? Uh, so just be aware of that, okay? All right. So it's gonna be it for this video. Um, more videos will be coming as usual. And so stay tuned.